Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to the Praying Mom with PT. It's a prayer session designed specifically to pray for your children. Daddy will honor you this morning. Rakabo You want to join me this morning to lift up the name of Jehovah. You want to thank him for the gift of life. He has woken you up this morning for a reason. Jesus is the reason that we are awake today. You want to say, God, I appreciate you. Irrespective of what I feel, what I'm going through, I thank you that I'm still able to breathe. Thank you for, thank God for every member of your household. Thank you, Lord, for keeping my children, keeping my grandchildren, keeping every member of my household. Oh, God, blessing are going out and are coming in. Father, I bless you this morning. I'm full of gratitude this morning and I give you glory. Masha tua tuta si taliga rakabo sotoliga enter your court with thanksgiving this morning and I sing praises unto you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen and amen. We have been praying using the letters A to Z. This morning we are going to continue with the letter S. And this morning I've titled S slothfulness. Slothfulness means laziness to be lazy. We do not want our children to to be lazy. Laziness is very common today, especially among the young people. They waste their time on social media, football, or thriver things. We don't want them to be lazy. It's good to go on social media, but we don't want them to spend too long on it and be lazy. I'm lazy around the house. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray that God help my children and my grandchildren to be able to manage their time in the name of Jesus. Ratsu Satu Taliga. Hess is for slothfulness. I pray that my children and my grandchildren will not be slothful. In the name of Jesus, let them spend their time productive. In the name of Jesus, let my children and my grandchildren, oh God, be productive in whatever they do. In the name of Jesus, use their time productively, oh God not wasting their time sleeping oh god when they shouldn't be sleeping in the name of jesus come and pray with me this morning i speak to your spirit man son you are diligent in the name of jesus i come against every spirit of slothfulness in your life in the name of jesus i come against the spirit of slothfulness in the life of my daughter and in the lives of my grandchildren pray with me this morning Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. I pray that concerning my children and my grandchildren, whatever their hands find to do, Jehovah, I pray for grace to be diligent. Give unto my son. Give unto my daughter. In the name of Jesus, there will not be time wasters. In the name of Jesus, come and pray with me this morning. Resa tu kaliga. Rasa tu taliga du kaliga. I come against the spirit of weariness, the spirit of laziness over the lives of my children and my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I come before you this morning and I pray, deliver my children, oh God, from unnecessary procrastination. In the name of Jesus, let them, oh God, not be slothful. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. No matter how young or old your child is, this morning you want to come against the spirit of laziness, the spirit of slothfulness over their destinies. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Everything that my children and my grandchildren have lost as a result of laziness. This morning, Lord, I pray for your mercy. I pray for a recovery. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of diligence, let it rest upon my son. Let it rest upon my daughter and my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, pray 
where we've met this morning. Resa tuatu taliande. Proverbs chapter 10 verses 4 to 5. Bible says, he who has slack and becomes poor. But a hand of the diligent makes rich. You want to pray. Jehovah, help my children, oh God. Let their hands be diligent. In the name of Jesus. He says, he who gathers in summer is a wise son. Son, you are wise. You gather, you gather in summer. In the name of Jesus, you are not wasteful. You are not slothful. In the name of Jesus, you are diligent. I command you to be diligent. Daughter, I command you to be diligent. Pray with me this morning. Resa to Taliga. He says, he who sleeps in others is a son to who costs his shame. You want to declare this morning, my children will not cause me shame in the name of Jesus. They will not sleep in their time of harvest. In the name of Jesus, Retabo Sotolika, Rakabusa Tutaliande, Mandebosha Tutaliga. Pray with me this morning. Master to a total Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15. Bible says, laziness cast out into a deep sleep, and, and an idle person will suffer hunger. I declare this morning, my children and my grandchildren will not be idle in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch the heart of my son, touch the heart of my daughter, touch the heart of my grandchildren. Let them see the needs to be hard working in the name of Jesus. Help my children, oh God. Rakabo Sotolika. Rash Taliande, Rakuksa Kukaliga, Rantabusa Kukaliande. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the spirit of excellence, the spirit of discipline. Let it rest upon my son and my daughter. Let it rest upon my children. Let them be disciplined. Disciplined and know when to wake up. Disciplined and know when to work hard. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Resa Tua Tukaliande. Masa kukaliga, rasha tutaliga, rakaboso toliga. I pray for grace concerning my children this morning. Grace to move into the next level of their life. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of spiritual weariness over the destinies of my children and my grandchildren this morning. Pray with me this morning. Rasa tua tukaliga, rekeboso toliga. Give us grace, grace and discipline to be able to study your word. In the name of Jesus, help my children and my grandchildren. Not, not to be lazy in studying the word of God. Come and pray for them. Pray for yourself as a praying mom as well. That in the name of Jesus, help me. Rasa tutaliga. I receive special grace this morning. Grace. Grace, oh God, to be diligent in the studying of the word. Grace to be diligent in spiritual things. Come and pray this morning. Rasa tutaliga. Resha tutaliga. See. See, this morning is for temptation. You want to come against every te- that, that God will help your children to be able to overcome temptation. In the name of Jesus, any temptation that may come across their way, in the name of Jesus, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, Bible says, no temptation has overtaken you. That is not common to man. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. Come and pray this morning. My children and my grandchildren will be able to overcome temptation. In the name of Jesus, temptation of anger, temptation of stealing, temptation of sexual sin. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Rakapusa too. Rakua Sukaliande, Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Bible says, Watch and pray, and that, that you may enter in, that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Come and pray for your children this morning. That God help me, help my children and my grandchildren to always wash and pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the spirit of God. Baptize my children with the spirit of prayer. In the name of Jesus, let them be on fire for God. God. In the name of Jesus, let them be on fire for the things of God. In the name of Jesus, Rasutali Kadu Kaliga. Pray with me this morning. Resha Tutaliga, Rakaboso Tolika Du Kaliande. Matthew chapter 6, verse 13. Bible says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You want to pray? Deliver my children from evil. Deliver my grandchildren from evil. In the name of Jesus, come and give him glory this morning. Give him praise this morning. Rasa Tuatu Kaliga. 
trigger. I thank you, Lord, concerning my children and my grandchildren because they are diligent. They are working hard. They are hard workers, oh God, in the name of Jesus. They are not lazy in the name of Jesus. And you are blessing the work of their hands, oh God. You are increasing them. You are enlarging my children and my grandchildren, blessing them in their career, blessing them in their jobs, blessing their homes, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me again this morning. This podcast is brought to you from Prayer and Liberation Ministries, IPAM, for godly counseling and prayers for relationships and for your children. You can contact me on my email. The email is dpmom at iprayerandliberation.site. For more prayers for your children like this, you can subscribe and follow us on our YouTube channel, IPAM Ministry. If you do not receive this podcast directly from me, and you would love to, we have a WhatsApp group for the Pray Mom with PT. If you want to be a part of this group, please email me to get an invite link to this group. You can also connect with us on our Instagram page, on our Facebook page, on the handle The Pray Mom with PT. If this podcast has been a blessing to you, please share with someone. God bless you and bye for now.